We're at the gallery and studio of Jim Rabby. Unbelievable structure here. This is where he lives, where he creates, and where he has his gallery. Come on inside, let's take a look. So we are in the gallery and studio of Jim Rabby, and what an honor to be here. How long have you been doing this, Jim? Jeez. <laughs> Professionally, continually for living now, 55 years. 55 years. Wow, and was this the style? I mean, this is beautiful. This, what, is this the style that, that you started with, or this? This is a this is a painting that's uh, about thirty year old painting right here. Thirty years. Uh -huh. Wow. And and they uh, just been. Well, I'm a worker. All you know, gambling paint. All all, all, all ga gambling paint. Gambling yeah, paint. Look yeah. at that. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah, I've always defined myself as being a worker and and disengaged with the being. Making paintings. And you get up kind of early, don't you? Acting. My days start at 1 o'clock every morning. Every morning? Seven days a week. Seven days a week you're up at 1 o'clock. Yeah, I like my routine. I like to be in a routine. Okay. Yeah. And did you always know you were going to be an artist? Oh, uh, I've always been an artist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> it's Looking at your artwork, Jim, do you... When you go into it, do you have an idea of what it's going to be? Did you? I mean, do you have a preconceived? I'm. I want to create this, uh -huh. and or does it develop? How do, How does this process uh, work? Well, it's every every painting. It's always an adventure. I mean, after all these really still my whole life. I, you know, it's always, and it's it's exhilarating and excruciating, and it's oh, you know it's it's wrenching. It's euphoric, and that can happen within. The whole gamut can go within a few minutes. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know so it's a wild, it's a wild ride, and and we gain experience. We find mm -hmm. these portals of ways to delve into, and then to be able to grow with that, and morph with that, mm -hmm. and and style artist styles come from the engagement and momentum and velocity to be to be there. So so. You know, th a lot of artists will find that the most difficult is getting engaged to it, no matter how long they've been away from it. So, you know, so it's this, you know, from here to here, it's just like, whoo! Yeah. yeah, wow. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Well, we're going to go take a look at his easel, too, because uh -huh. I've seen it before, and you're, you've never seen anything like this. So I feel like I am in sacred ground because I am surrounded, but look what I'm surrounded by. This is the most most clumps of gambling paint I have ever seen in my life. This is probably more gambling than we have on our shelves. And this is this is where Jim works and just incredible. How does this work for you? You This whole thing is beyond me. Yeah. I, I know how to show up real well. And and I've got you know just massive experience. My eighty hour weeks were consisted of working every day. I would do several three to four hour sessions a yeah. day. Right now I'm I'm up at one but I'm I start I start painting by the oh by four. And it's it's tougher. I'm uh, let's see I'm seventy seventy one and so it's start feeling it. I've been road hard and put away wet uh -huh. you know, for a long time and it's always an adventure. And the paint knows where it would like to go. Yeah. This whole thing is beyond me. I know how to show up real good. I started painting with a palette knife and oils. Okay. That was that was the deal. Fifty something years ago. Actually, sixty years. Sixty ago. Sixty years uh -huh. ago. Uh -huh. And I'd like to ask you something personal because I I heard or read somewhere that that you had polio as a young child. Can you talk just a second about that? Sure. I had polio before I was a year old. Okay. And uh, and it was certainly a life or death kind of deal. And I've always embraced that experience. That was the most profound thing that happened to me in my life. And, and is that when you made a vow to be an artist, or how did that... No, family had a little little mom-and-pop shop back, okay. back. In those days, you could feel like you can do anything you want in life. What would you like to do? Yeah. You know, that was the attitude of that era. Uh -huh. And uh, it wasn't my desire to be like a doctor or a lawyer. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and I was ranged... I was raised pretty much a free-range chicken, okay. you know, to uh, do my thing, and and I love that. Well, I would definitely encourage people to come down here and take a look at the gallery. It's an unbelievable facility of what Jim's built, and thank you so much, Jim, for opening it up. Oh, that's great, Ron. Yeah, nice to visit you. It's great to visit you. Yeah.